Number 22, find the angle for the third order maximum for 580 nanometer wavelength yellow light falling on a diffraction grating having 1500 lines per centimeter. So the first thing, anytime they tell you the number of lines per length, you can always find them the distance between those lines or between those slits. So all we have to do is basically take then or invert this. We need the centimeters per line basically. So in other words, they said that it was 1500 lines per single centimeter. So therefore now I'm just going to invert it so it's 1 over 1500. But you got to be careful now when you calculate this because 1 over 1500 is going to be equal to about 6.67 times 10 to the minus fourth. But that's in terms of centimeters. All right, we're probably going to need that in terms of meters. So you got to multiply this all by 10 to the minus 2, which would then be in total 10 to the minus 6. So you really need it at times 10 to the minus 2 at the top. All right, keep that in mind. So now uh, we're talking about maximum, we're talking about diffraction. We're going to use the formula over here that we've been using now for most of the chapter here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to write it out. Sine theta is equal to m lambda. We have to find the angle. So divide out the distance between the slits there. All right, and then reorganize this a little bit. You got to take the inverse sine then of both sides because you have to get rid of the sine on the left to find just the angle. And now literally all you got to do is just plug it in. So this is third order max, so m is 3. The wavelength they told you is 580 nanometers. Convert that into meters. Then send to the minus ninth. All right, then divide the whole thing now by the distance, which was 6.67 times 10 to the minus sixth. And let's see what we get. All right, so let's do uh, inverse sine of 3 times 580 times 10 to the minus ninth. Divided then by that answer times 10 to the minus 6, basically. And then this works out to be now 15 point, I guess, 1 degrees. All right, and that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. All right, check out some more of our videos. we got a whole bunch of other subjects coming out. we got chem uh, chemistry, pre-calculus, right? Um, solve solutions, and even if you're not using, let's say, the OpenStax textbook, download it for free. Go to the OpenStax website, take a look at it, and I guarantee any problems you might be having, you can find a similar, if not identical, problem. Uh, and then you can, we can help you out in your other course. All right? We'll see you soon.